down, guys. Oh, goodness. Mo, you need to go back and, and go and go back and go back. Just go back. Just go back. Go back to when you came. Good. Thank you. Right, okay. There's a reason why I wanted to go back. Hello and welcome back. My name is Charisma and this is my Conan Exiles gameplay. We are on episode 27. Now I'm up here because I wanted to come and grab the ice because I'd made the preservation boxes for the meat because it does, it stops it from going off basically. And we got a lot of pork from when we were running about with the thralls. Now you can get the ice from up here, uh, which is what I showed you before. So just the ice up here, but I wanted to show you, you can also get the black ice as well, which is here on the same bit of area. You can also get a lot of uh, iron from here as well, but the black ice is here. We have quite a bit of it at the moment, but you need the black ice to make steel, hardened steel. Um, so you can get a pretty fair amount of these you know you can get a decent amount but i have got a lot of uh, normal ice as well for the preservation boxes for at home we do have a decent amount of black ice there we go so we can make our own hardened steel we can also make another preservation box once we get back we do have two at the moment i just wanted to bring you back and show you whereabouts you get that from uh this is just normal ice uh, there's a lot of iron up here as well so you can also grab that i was actually hoping that there would be a uh meteorite up here but there's there isn't so i was hoping to show you that as well at the same time i'm just going to keep searching around and having a little look now i am over at the uh other base which is uh, one reason why I kept the uh, outpost here. So you just go up and further along and th there are some beasties you're going to have to kill. If they aggro, obviously. Sorry, um, Ram. Sorry. Yeah, so we can go further up and around. I'm just having a little look to see if I can find a meteorite, but uh, at the moment I can't. Oh, you're going to fall. Oh, okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. I'm having another little look around to see if we can see anything else. A little bit more black eyes, I think. And I'm just using the normal pick for this to grab this. Just a normal pick will do. These are just normal ice. You'll be able to tell the difference because it is a little bit, well, it is a little bit darker is the black ice, so. But you need this for hardened steel if you want to make your own hardened steel. It's, I believe it's one steel bar and one black ice, so. Just go careful when you're up here. <laughs> Okay, I haven't seen a, a meteor, so can have a little look across here though. Right, is that one? I think that's just iron. If we were to tell it's a meteor, because it'll be smoking. And there are frost giants around uh, one of these bits. Oh, maybe further down actually we are heading up towards the uh, volcano here as well which we don't really need to be doing that just yet no, a lot of ice there look just ice at the moment but like i say that that other bit down there that i just got the black ice from is 
not very far away from Thorga, who you learned the altar of Ymir from. Uh, I did show you in a previous episode, I uh, had to come up and grab the ice up there anyhow. Uh, still on the top of that plateau. So, there we go, there's some more. So here we go, here's some more of the black ice. Black eyes and ice. It's just a little bit darker than the normal, the normal ones. Look, oh, we just needed a bit of this so we could actually do our own hardened steel. We do need some more to make another preservation box. We do have two, so that's fine at the moment. Make sure you watch for your um, temperature because it will say that you've got frostbite and it will start ticking down. Your health. Okay, so we do have some more black ice and ice here. We are over encumbered, but it's okay. We can drop a little bit. We can drop a little bit of something. If we get rid of that, that's okay. We could just drop a normal thing of ice because we do have a decent amount of ice. So we'll drop a couple of those. We don't need that many. It's the black ice I'd come for. So. There we go. So I could make a thousand hardened steel bars now. Um, it sort of saves me time as well, farming and uh, dismantling everything. Also, now I know it's really dark. And I'll bring you back once I am at the area where Thorgar is. I can show you how to get up to this little bit. All right, guys. So we're back at the little uh, bit that I was on. When I collected the first little bit of the black ice. And I'm just going to head back down to where Thorgar is the uh, big frost giant. So, this is just the way I came up. I just followed the uh, bit around. Just go steady on the edges. <laughs> Don't be slipping off. And here he is. He's just here. And it is literally just above him, up there. Well, there you go. Um, I do show you how to get to him um, in a previous episode, but I'm going to show you again here whereabouts I am. So we're just here at the Outcasts Camp. So just literally here. There is a little path that leads up to that there. Right, guys, I'm going to continue to have a little look around for a um, meteorite because we can make the improved preservation box as well, uh, which is what I was hoping to do, uh, to get enough bars and things. And then to let you know how to sort of smelt those bars as well. But there you go, that is how you can get the hardened steel. Now, the, the black ice is not too bad to get. Like I say, I've just got a normal pick on me. Uh, there's no sort of steel pick, or well, I mean, this is steel, I think, anyway. Uh, the pickaxe. So I've got that one on me. I did bring the star metal pickaxe just in case, uh, but that would necessarily be a um, steel hardened steel pickaxe that you would use there now, is she? So all the meteorites, so or steel, I suppose. Right, because I've got to run past these uh, cats again now, so bear with me. I'm just going to have a little look around now for me to your right. No, you don't, pussycat. There you go, guys. That is it, dude. It's got no thrall on the furnace, and it is just a normal furnace as well. It's just doing those. I just picked up a few bars just now from... The guys that were just outside that just decided to fight me. But there you go. Three hardened steel bars. Uh, four. Yeah, well, sorry. Four hardened steel bars. There we go. So you don't even need a specialty sort of thrall on there either. But there we go. We're just going to pop this in here while we go and have a little search around uh, for a meteor. Hopefully we'll find one. Could be a second, guys. Well, I might be a while, but I'll bring you back as soon as I find one. Hey, guys. Uh, well, we got back from the 
place where we were grabbing all the uh, black ice from. So we came back from one second from up at the Mounds of the Dead. Now I did go all the way around here to see whether or not we could find any star metal uh, nodes, which, you know, I couldn't find any. Not at all. And no meteorites dropped while I was stood there, and I was there for quite a while. But we did have some star metal or um, back here anyhow. So I thought I'd still come back and show you how to make the star metal bars. Now, we've got 33 star metal there. You need brimstone and you need the black ice. And there we go. We actually need, I think, 40 of these for the preservation box, for the better one. Improved preservation. No, we actually only need 20, so that's good. We might actually be able to make this one in a second. So there we go. That is how to make those. And I've got the star metal. Got some, uh, not sorry, star metal. Got some black ice. Got the steel bar. And there we go. If you're needing hardened steel. And it's just the black ice and steel bar. Okay, so you can also get the star metal bars from this front dismantling bench. Now we've got a duplicate of these, so we have got some more in the box over there. We can always go and grab some more. They do drop them. So there we go. We've got five there. And we have another five. So there you go. And we do have some over here, so it's fine. There we go. I also have the star metal pickaxe as well, which uh, I picked up from over at the Mounds of the Dead as well. So, you know, it is possible to still sort of uh, get star metal, even if there isn't any um, nodes around sort of thing. So, but the I found the best way to crack the outer shell now a lot of people use the gaseous was it the gaseous orbs no the tar and the uh fire ones i'll go and show you in a second once we've got all of these okay so what to do with those oh, one second but he's still making those that's absolutely fine i want to make the better preservation box so have a quick look. Uh, so we need two of these. Let's grab two. And we'll make those. Okay. Station improved. We can craft one of those. So we're going to craft that right now. Right, okay. Yes. So we were over here. So to craft the orbs you need, you'd need the demon fire orb and the grease orb. So the grease orb is a water orb and tar. Demon fire orb is your water orb and volatile glands. And you can make tar from oil and raw ash. You can make some more tar from resin and raw ash. You can also make the oil from ichor and bark. Uh, and this is the named trial Darmok the Experimenter. Now, I find that the arrows, the explosive arrows, kind of work better. And you can be a little bit more precise as well with those. So I prefer to go with those. Now, they are expensive and you do need dragon powder. But to make that, you need a demon blood, drumstone, 37 crystal and steel fire. So it is quite expensive to make one of the powders. But one of the powders will give you uh, 10 explosive arrows. So it will give you 10, and that is for one iron head arrow, four feathers, demon powder, and it will give you that. There we go, and I will show you that there, look. So five tar, a dragon powder, four feathers, and one iron head arrow, and it gives you 10. So nine times out of 10, you only kind of need one explosive arrow, so, you know, you you work it out. You see what's best for you uh, to do that. So, to get the uh, 
the things that you need I'm going to take all I do want to pick this one up seven because I want this one in the middle there we go this one gives us a little bit more space so and icing that to take away the timer like so I always just put what ice I've got in here and any of the black ice I've got in here so there we go like so no more unnecessary wasted food there we go seven I'm gonna put this one here kind of helps if you're gonna go farming for a lot of food and then you can put it all in here see I've taken all that meat out of the animals I put it in here so it'll stay fresh until I want to cook it. There we go. That's what I wanted to get those for. <laughs> Guys, now I can get on with doing what I was going to be doing. Because it's taken me a long time. I was stood over there for quite a while waiting for the meteors to drop so I could uh, sort of show you how to get the um, ore and everything. But they never dropped, so... It's not a problem though, it's absolutely fine. I was able to explain it to you. If you have any questions, obviously ask them in the comment section below and I'll be able to sort of go over, go over it. So I'm uh, going to get rid of those two. No, they have put a, dis have put a dismantling bench down, so uh, that's just so then I can start going through all the items that I have here. I'm working out what I need and what I don't need, so. But that's for now. All right, guys, we've well, got enough those. Oops, no, get out. Get out of there. Get out of there. Right, okay, so we're going to do that one first. Right, guys, I'm going to go over into the den as soon as it's light, and I'm going to collect all the things that I need for the Decato upgrade. And hopefully get everything that I need for the Ymir upgrade. And we can do those once I bring you back. So I will see you soon. Damn, guys. Oh, goodness. Mo, well, you need to go back and, and go and go back and go back. Just go back. Just go back. Go back to when you came. Good. Thank you. Right, okay. There's a reason why I wanted to go back. And you, mister. And now I've lost all my bodies. Great. Awesome. So all the bodies that I just killed. All the people I just killed. I lost the bodies for because I had to run away. But it's okay. Yeah, it's you. You. Causing trouble. Didn't need to be doing that. Thank you. Right, okay. I'm in here trying to grab these. It's all but of the unfulfilled. And I spotted a person down there that I want to, like, boop on the head, so I wanted to bring you back. He didn't even have a chance, like, he just sort of, like, his legs just gave way on him. Right, lady, come here. Excuse me. You better be her again. You are. Hi. Go on, then you keep dodging, that's fine. Nope. Okay. Well, I will once I've done all this, I will. I will kind of will. If the game gives me my stamina back. Because that'd be great. 
Yeah, the stamina is a bit of a pain. I just need to thin them out a little. There we go, there's one down. There's one down! Yeah, I should concentrate on her a little bit. There we go, she's gone. And you can go away as well, dude. Sticking your nebbins in where it won't want it. Exactly. Right, you stay there, lady. And I know I've got a bleed on me, but it shouldn't take too much away. So, sorry. I don't want you, thank you. I know you're a decent one, but... I've been a bit picky at the minute. Right, let's grab you. Have the silver from you. Six. And, uh... Come along. You. Hopefully when we come back, those bodies would have all have spawned back, so I can actually loot them. I had to run all the way down here just so I could uh, get away from those buggers. Right, okay, I will bring you back if I've owned someone else, guys. <laughs> right, okay, guys, I'm on the top where uh, the named archer spawns. Now, I'm not really sure if we've actually got him, but I want to see if it is him. And if it is, we're going to get him again anyway. Hello. How are you doing? We're going to get you, dude, so you might as well give it up now. I want your boxes as well, though. So. Yeah, I don't know if we've got him yet. I don't think so, but. He's here anyway, so. We might as well. We can always change his name. If uh, we do have him. I'm going to take everything from that one. We take everything from that one and uh, we'll get that we're just getting some ice shards at the moment so i thought well we might as well come up here and grab him as well guys uh, i'm gonna get back to it oh hey guys uh, we are back from over there from our little escapades over there um you would have seen it it's gone in the video it was before this anyway so uh you'd have seen what we were doing over there and we have enough now for the upgrade on this so we've got 250 60 of those and 250 iron reinforcements plus 30 of those we can actually upgrade to the next one which is what we're going to do we go. We're just waiting for the other shards and things to happen on there. But yeah, this is the second upgrade, so they'll all be at number two, which is a good thing. So, because you know, got to get them all up to the to the full level. That's what we're doing. I'm just going to wait for it to ding. I don't know why I like to do that, and I like to watch until it does it. So. Come on. I always get really impatient, though. I'm like, should I go and see how long it's got? Should I go and see? How long's it got? Well, it's not even halfway yet. Yes, there you go. I want to thank everyone who actually joined in with the uh, question of the day. It was really cool to hear some people's answers. It was, uh, I liked it. I liked it. It's nice to just get to know what other people like and what areas other people like and things like that. So I thought it was uh, it was pretty cool. You know, because uh, you never know where other people like to build and, you know, you may have never thought of it. So go over and have a look and be like, oh, yeah, it's a pretty cool place. That gives you other ideas as well, doesn't it? So, yay! There we go. So that one is now upgraded to level two. And we could do the Kerto headpiece, hand wraps, robe, skirt, 
and transmute uh, some blood as well. Also transmute full uh, compost as well. That's good. And that and aloe and that and aloe as well. So there we go. So that's pretty cool. That is absolutely pretty cool. Love it. All right. Okay. So we can add this one as well. The altar of Ymir. We do have enough. I'm going to take those out for now, though. I don't want those uh, in when I do the craft it. So there we go. 350 brick, 24 shaped wood, and 30 of the manifestations. There we go. And this one, I'll get up to the second one. So we're going to the blooded altar. Let's see what else we can craft on there once that is done. It's been a busy day. It's taken me a while to actually uh, to record again. So, uh, not to worry though. We are getting sort of back on track and where I, I really need to be at this point. So, yeah, we're, we're doing all right. We should get in front in the next few days. So, I'm hoping to get them recorded, like pre recorded, um, over so many days and then uh, I can start. Letting you know when the streaming schedule is going to be, which I didn't do an announcement yesterday, which I apologise for. I was uh, I was running so late; it was unbelievable. But never mind. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm okay now. It's a fine. We're all we're all up and uh, back on track, which is really good. It's where I needed to be, so should cut down on a lot of time wasted now. Come on. Should be time now. Come on. Well, I stood here, I might as well ask you your question for the day. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Look at that. Pretty cool. We get some Armour there as well. That is really darn cool. Winter's Majesty. Nice. Okay. Okay, we'll have to have a little look at that. Right, okay, so that is all four of them. Sorry, all five of the ones that you can learn here. Um, just from the trainers in the world. So we've got that one, uh, which is the set. No, that's the set. Yeah, this is the structure of set. This is set. Uh, this is the Mitra, Kerto, Ymir, and... Do you know I always forget that one? I always do it. I always forget the name of this one. I don't know why. It's because I think it's because it's just out here all by itself with no friends. Yog. That's a Yog. Right. So my question of the day is, which of the altars, which of the religions do you start with? And uh, and why do you particularly pick that one? Right. Uh, my answer is obviously the Mitra Shrine. You, I've started with Mitra every single time. Um, and it's just, it's because of the, you know, you get the Statue of Refreshment on level two. You get the Ambrosia on first level, the first one. Uh, and that is a really good healing potion to start with. It's a really good healing healing item to have sort of when you first start. So I do this one. Uh, I I prefer doing this one. I've done it every single time. So And I know where the trainer is for that one anyway, so I could come and get it pretty quickly. Uh, but I do like it for the beginning of the game because of the healing uh, items that you can do. I know you can do that with Yog as well. I think Yog. The first one is the healing, uh, the meat. Uh, but I like this one. This one. There we go. That's my answer. So let me know. Let me know which one you like and why you like it. You might have the meat for as well for the same reasons I do. But still, you know, still join in an answer. Um, like I say, you will go into a draw at the end of the season. 
uh, for a little something from me. If you actually ask a question of the day and I pick that question of the day, that will be an extra name in the hat for the draw. Okay, so there you go. If you can think of a question you want to ask, game based, so it has to be about the game. I just so I can learn a little bit more about everybody's play style and how they play because everybody does not play the same. You know, everyone's an individual, they play it how they play it, and, uh, you know, they may be interested in why someone does something or whatever. They could put that in the question of the day. But there we go. There are the altars. Absolutely fantastic. I got rid of the hyenas for me there. I do want to go and grab another two uh, tiger cubs, if possible, so I can put five in. Um, not that one. I did pick up another couple of bears while I was running around. Uh, yeah, I could do with another couple of tiger cubs and another couple of crocodiles, uh, which I'm going to go and have a little look for. I will be going to get the shalebacks as well, so we can do the shalebacks as well. And then we can have a, a, you know, a little play around with the, um, with the pen. But I do want to upgrade it, which is another reason why I wanted uh, the animals out of here, so I could uh, get rid of this one and we could put the next one up. Yeah, so that's why I did that, guys. Right, I'm going to call it here. I know that it's not been as long as it normally is, but I have done a lot through the day. Uh, we've got quite a bit done and done to the base. You know, we went up for the ice and things for the hardened steel, so we could make some hardened steel. The easiest place to go to um, for the black ice is up above where that frost giant is that you learn the Mia altar for. So, um, it's on the plateau up there. It's, it's not a bad, it's not a bad area to actually get the black ice for to make these. But yeah, everything should sort of like stay relatively sort of cool and, and we shouldn't be wasting any food whatsoever. So I'm going to be going to collect some more food to see what we can tame our animals with, see what best food um, is more likely to produce a greater animal. There we go. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, I will see you in the next episode. Oof. Until then, though. Bye for now.